Greetings YouTube. Before I begin today's project, I thought I'd try an experiment with a wrap. Now, I have been experimenting with this, and I've wrapped two projects so far, and I've been quite happy with the way it came out. But I pay seven bucks, I think it is, for 75 feet of that. And it gives a nice, uh, a nice grip and everything, but I have an upcoming project, and if the project works out the way I'd like it to, I'm going to have to wrap a four foot section of tubing and that's a lot of uh, line now I have this which is a, which has got which it's you know nylon line it's just thinner and I paid like I don't know three or five dollars for this entire thing it's a mess but it, it does unspool so I want to try wrapping this handle here with this stuff and see how it comes out and if it comes out in a way I like, then I will use this for that upcoming project. Uh, that project requires me to get a 10 foot length of one inch diameter electrical con conduit to my house, which I can't do in my car. And for some reason that I am baffled by, Home Depot won't cut it in half for me. So I have to get my wife to get her SUV over there so we can put it on a tie it to the top of the SUV. Makes no sense to me because they've cut black pipe for me without a problem, but they won't cut galvanized steel one inch diameter conduit, which is a lighter gauge than black steel. Don't get it. So first thing up is going to try this and see if I like the way this stuff wraps onto this particular handle. So it was a success. It does in fact wrap pretty decently. I think I needed to make it tighter. I was afraid to make it too tight because I'd actually made something too tight on my last project and I couldn't get the I couldn't get it to pull through to make the knot up here. So now I know on this particular type because it's got a it's, it's fairly um, slick, I can make it as tight as I want to, I think, and I can still be able to get it to knot. Um, speaking of knots, Look at that mess on my floor. Yeah, it's going to be fun to fix. Um, so, not, so pretty much a success in my opinion. Um, I will probably have to use a little super glue on the ends just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere when I finally do the final project. This is just a test here. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much happy with this. So now we're going to get on to the actual project of the day. So here is the project that we're going to be working on today. I have this this piece of furnishing leg or support because it's got a thread on the bottom and it's got a thread on the top. I got two of these uh, curbside. Some of them they were just lying there. And there was also another two that were longer and thinner. I didn't think I'd have any use for those so I didn't pick those up. Um, maybe I should have. I don't know. But what I thought I would do is take advantage of this right here and mount this there um, to, make, to increase the overall weight of the object and give it a good solid top. And um, I just lucked into having to, hap having to happen to having two nuts that fit this. I don't even know what the heck it is. I didn't even measure it. I just had a bunch of nuts and I started trying it. And I've got two of them. So I will uh, drill a hole here, put that on there. That will center it for me. I'll use one of these nuts to, to locate the position, I mean, to lock it in place, and then I will cut it flush uh, with, a, with my angle grinder, uh, with, my, you know, with the cutoff blade. And uh, that'll take care of that. So that's pretty simple, just drill a single hole through this, and this is pretty pretty soft metal. I actually don't know, it's, I mean, it's, it's steel, but I'm not sure what kind of steel. I mean, it's a plumbing fixture, I think, an older one, obviously. Um, so I don't know... So I don't know what that is. So I got this for next to nothing. I bought it in a, a lot. I got this for free. The nuts, those are, again, I got those in a lot. So it cost me a couple of pennies a piece of that. These I paid full price for because I wanted a specific look. So what I want to do is I want to mount four of these. Two going in this direction, one facing this way and one facing that way. And they're going to have two nuts because the nuts are going to go on either side so that this and this will be the two impact points. And then two going this way, one facing that way, and one facing this way. 
and the whole head's going to be right here. Whole strike force is going to be right there. And then I'm just going to, it's a nice diameter. I don't think it needs any kind of wrapping or any. It's got a nice swell. It's like a baseball bat in that regard. So I think that overall will be what I need. Now, my only concern really here now is I don't know how far down this goes, but I'm going to try drilling like here. I'm going to start here and see what I get. I need to make a hole big enough for this. And what I'll probably do, because I'm going to use my V, my v block, um, this little V block right there, and I don't want to harm the V block, so I'll probably just drill a quarter inch hole here, and then I'll open it up larger with another, with another, um, actually what I probably should do, what I should probably do is use a spade bit to start it and then finish it with a quarter inch and then finish it. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I think it's going to be a nice juxtaposition between the older patina and then the bright shiny bolts. And these are five eighths by five inch. And these are just the nuts. So they go with a five eighths inch uh, bolt that I picked up at the hardware store. And I think these were like two bucks a piece and these were 43 cents a piece. So you're looking at, you know, a little over 10 bucks worth of worth of hardware. And again, because this is a project that is being bolted together, literally, if I need to in the future, I could take this apart and reuse these things for another project. Um, so I can always, I try to I try to do things that I can like reuse if I want to. And I've done that a few times. I've taken things apart and, uh, and, and redone them because I didn't like the way they turned out or I thought that the parts could be more useful someplace else. Alrighty, so first up is going to find the middle and then drill a hole in this. So I had to bring the diameter of this down a little bit, but that's fine with me. I was really shocked how thick this thing is. I mean, look at that. I think you can see that. That's got to be a good quarter inch, maybe even more than that, man. That's that's a thick piece of metal. I didn't realize it was that thick because you can't really tell from, you know, looking at it from the outside or the inside. But yeah, that's that's thick. Now, this is a nice snug fit at the moment. So when I screw this in place or bolt it in place later, it's going to come in nice and tight, which will make me happy. Uh, I think I need to find a washer, though. I think I have to dig around for one of those. But next up is going to be to put the V-block back in my drill press and then get ready to start drilling the first of the four holes that are going to need to be done. So I have encountered a small problem. My drill press doesn't have enough travel. So I've got this nice and centered. And the problem is, is that this is just above the wood, but it doesn't go all the way through. So I have drilled two holes. These are now all set. Uh, so I'm going to take the drill bit out of the press and I'm going to put this into my vise, which is designed with, here we go, with a pipe feature right here. And I use a piece of old beat up leather to hold things so I can put the put it in there like that and then clamp on it and it won't mar the wood. Um, and then I will drill all the way through with a hand drill having started those. And once I get those two holes completed all the way through, I will then put this thing back into the V-block to drill the other two holes, which will be perpendicular to this. And I'm gonna have these things on one inch centers. So it's gonna be here and then here and then here and then here. So there's going to be a one, so these two inches here and then two inches there. So they're going to be nice and tightly packed up here at the top. All of the energy is going to be right here and all the impact points are going to be right here. Um, it's a little more steps than I wanted to, but the problem is, is that I have a tabletop drill press um, because that's what I could afford. Um, I got it new and I didn't want to have to spend maybe potentially years searching around for a used floor model. Of course, if I sometimes someday stumble upon a really nice floor model, um, I may get that and pass this on to somebody else at a, at a bargain. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, heck, I'll throw the table in. This used to be, a, by the way, this used to be a, an aquarium stand. <laughs> 
I think I paid six bucks for it. I obviously put the cardboard on top. I mean, the, put the plywood on top to make the top bigger. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's what's uh, going to be up next. Going to be to oh, compensate for the fact that my drill press does not have enough of a, enough travel. So I'm going to have to do the do the rest of these two holes by hand, then set this back up to make sure that everything is going to be square. Now to get these things parallel, what I did is I drilled the first one about and probably made about three quarters of the quarters of the way through. And then I put this drill bit in that hole and then used that to make sure that the drill bit in the drill press was in line with the hole that I'd already drilled. So these are, I mean, it's not brain surgery here. It is probably off by a millimeter, but it's pretty darn close. Close enough for a post-apocalyptic wasteland style weapon. I forgot I have a collection of center bunches. So I can use this to help me guide it as well. And this fits in there a little bit better than the quarter inch does. The quarter inch is a little on the snug side. But again, I'm not looking for heart valves here. So uh, I can have a little, little mush. So the first two holes are done. Now I've got the next one, the measurements where I want them. So now it's back into the drill press. Uh, make sure I got this set up horizontally and drill the first hole. Probably that one, because I think I can do that one first. That'll probably be the best one to do first. Um, we'll find out. Sometimes this stuff doesn't, you know, go perfect. Okay, now we have all four holes drilled, and I, these are the last two I did, so before I moved this, I figured I might as well drill the holes out. And I'm using an actual 5 8 inch spade bit, and it's perf perfect fit. Just, I wanted to make sure, I'm going to make sure I didn't have to go up like a sixteenth of an inch or something. But no, the, the five eighths is perfect, just like that. So, now I'm going to do that hole, and then this hole. And I'm going to try to go slow so I don't get too much split out on the other end. I mean, I will be covering this with a nut, so I will be covering up, you know, some of the, the ugliness of that. But I'm going to try to not do a horrible split out job. In fact, that I may go almost all the way through, turn around and come back and go the other direction. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how, how it goes. Um, sometimes you can get lucky and you can get, you get a nice hole. Sometimes things don't work out your way. Okay, you know how I said sometimes you don't end up where you think you're going to end up? That's where I am. I like this. This I don't. So, taking this off, I'm going to take this uh, threaded rod out if I can and I'm going to cut it off right there. I'm hoping there's nothing in there uh, in the way that I can just cut it right off. We're going to find that out. If there is something in the way I will use the angle grinder to remove it. Um, but yeah, it's just too damn heavy. This is a big heavy piece of wood already. It's heavier than a baseball bat. It's denser. I don't know what the hell it's made out of. Uh, I, I'm horrible with wood and of course it's painted. Um, so I'm going to leave this going to take this off. I will find a new use for this. Who knows what, but I'll find a new use for this. Um, so the first thing is to get this whole thing off, then to put two nuts on here, so in opposition to each other, so I can then hopefully unscrew it out of the device and then see how deep it goes and see if I can cut it off right at that seam, because that would make my life really easy. Okay, that's the next task. I lucked out. It was a lag bolt, so it came right out, leaving nothing in there. It left a hole, though, so I may see if I have a small lag bolt that I can stick in there just for the aesthetics to cover up that hole. I think I may do that, and then I think I'm going to call this this particular build finished. Uh, we're going to go. I'm going to go poke around, see if I can find one, and then we'll do the wrap up. So there we go one completed project. I'm quite happy with this wasteland mace. Um, I may call this a great mace because this is a big mace. I mean it's the size of a smallish baseball bat and it is definitely heavier than a baseball bat. I mean it's very very dense um, and it's got these four big bolts here all pointing in different directions so you're gonna get a variety of impacts no matter how this hits a target, it's going to do some harm. Um, if you hit it just right, you could easily stave in a helmet or even a breast plate with this thing. This is not going to 
this is gonna this is gonna leave a mark let's put it that way um, so happy with this design I'm glad I took the end off I think it visually makes it cleaner um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one yet I've got two of these this one had the smoothest um, barrel which didn't need any touching up the other one's got kind of a, a rough spot on it. I may have to fix that but yeah I like this thing I'm, I'm kind of I'm glad I picked this up I may go back and see if the other two are there maybe I'll pick those up too um, got the hell else to do right but yeah nicely done I kind of like this I'm happy with this okay so now it's time to go outside take some shots for the DVR page and for the Instagram or the Instagram for Instagram boy do I sound like I'm freaking old uh, so thank you for being here for this build I've enjoyed myself and hope you'll be here for the next And a bit of an epilogue, I locked out. Remember how I mentioned this end had a thread in it? Well, guess what? That thread fits an eye bolt, so it makes it really easy to hang this up and downstairs in my shop, which means I'm not taking space up in my weapons racks, because my weapon racks are pretty much full of weapons.